Hi, this video is all about contractionary monetary policy. It will give you a brief introduction to the topic. Contractionary monetary policy reduces imported inflation and demand pull inflation. In Singapore's context, we adopt a gradual and modest appreciation of the Singapore dollar. Appreciating the Singapore dollar will make our imports relatively cheaper in terms of the Singapore dollar, as the Singaporean importers now need to use less Singapore dollars to buy the same amount of foreign currencies when they buy imports. Singapore is a resource-poor country, which depends heavily on imports. Therefore, a stronger Singapore dollar will alleviate imported inflation. The high import content of Singapore exports means that a stronger Singapore dollar will result in lower cost of production in terms of imported raw materials. All the effects stated above shifts the short-run aggregate supply curve to the right, leading to a reduction in the general price level. This will keep the cost of living at bay. A stronger Singapore dollar would mean that it is more expensive for foreigners to buy Singapore's exports, as more foreign currencies are needed to change for the same amount of Singapore dollar, ceteris paribus. This will dampen the external demand for our goods and services. Assuming that the demand for our exports is price elastic due to the availability of substitutes in the international market, the quality demanded in foreign currencies will fall more than proportionately and thus the demand in Singapore dollar will fall. This also causes the export revenue to drop significantly. Even though our demand for imports is price inelastic due to our limited resources, the Marshall Lerner condition is still satisfied and the net exports will fall. As a result, aggregate demand will fall. This in turn lowers demand for our domestic resources such as labor, land, and this also reduces demand pull inflation. I hope you enjoyed this video and will keep coming back for more topics, so please visit our website www.jceconomics.com on a regular basis.